Okay, so I asked Twitter if I should try learning Nico in Dead or Alive 6, and there was an overwhelming amount of yes, so uh, let's do it. I'm just gonna hop into trading mode really quick first and learn me some Nico stuff. Okay, we're good. Okay, we've switched our character to Nico, who I have never touched before today. So, yeah, I have a I have a good feeling about this. You know, normally I hate fighting Hitomi, but this is going okay so far. Um wait. Hold on. What what is the range on that? You know what? Whatever, we take those. Okay, so you play your intro, but you're gonna skip mine. Alright, okay. I feel like just for that, I gotta try, like, extra hard to win. You know, it's it's a matter of principle. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I tried to counter too early. She's gonna run at me again, isn't she? Alright, day one Nico is uh doing okay. Cool, cool. Ooh, and they want the run back too. Alright, sure. You gonna let my intro play this time? Alright, so you've chosen death. Again. I mean, that's fine. If you want to repeat it last time, I will happily oblige you. Ha, <laughs> not a counter with my own. Ah, oh, crap. Oh my god, please fall for this again. <laughs> you know, honestly, I was a little worried about losing that set. They were playing better, they were grabbing more, but, you know, I won, ranked up, so nice. Oh my god, she does common rider poses. I love her already. And now we're up against a Honoka. Good old honkers. You know, I don't know what it is. Aside from Ayane players, Honoka players, in my own personal experience at least, seem to collectively have the worst internet connections imaginable like on this game. Like, I don't know what it is. It's always like a Honoka player with a one bar connection. Like, it literally feels like there's a second and a half of delay in this match. It's insane. Like, is this actually a thing? Are a lot of Honoka players' connections like this? Or have I just had the worst luck running into them online or something? I don't know. Someone tell me. And I know, I can just not accept the matches, but I am doing this so late into this game's life cycle that I feel like I have to just accept every match in order to, like, do what I need to do, you know? God, Nico just has such a cool break blow. That lightning bolt is just so satisfying to hit people with. A rematch declined. Ah, they don't want to play anymore. Mm, too bad for you. You can't ditch me that easily. Okay, I think we picked on their waifu enough for today. Oh crap. Hey, um, can I- can I play? Can I play the game? Can- can I play the game, please? Okay. You know, the thing that really rubs salt in the wound here is that a lot of reputable players put Bayman at, like, the bottom tier of Dead or Alive 6, and I'm playing in S tier. But at the same time, this is the first time I'm ever playing Nico, so that's my excuse. Oh god, not this stage. <laughs> like, for real, you can get zero to death on this stage so easily if your opponent knows what they're doing. 
Also, I haven't fought a Helena player since, like, EVO 2018 when the DOA6 demo was there. So, uh, th this should be interesting. I, I have no idea what to expect from this. Oh right, you can just grab them. I forgot. And I forgot that they can grab too. How, how did I gain any ranking points in this game? I, whatever. <laughs> we, we took the round and that's, that's all that matters. Wait, that hit? I thought I thought Helena's stance ducked all mid and high punches. Is my punch a low? I, I was pretty sure that was a mid. If it hasn't been painfully obvious so far, I know nothing about this game, despite it being my favorite fighting game. Um, What's going on? Like, I'm not imagining that, right? They just stopped doing things. They weren't hitting any buttons, they weren't reacting to anything. What? Yeah, he didn't do any wake-up attacks, he's not rolling, Helena's just getting up by herself. Wow, yeah, they're just... they're just not playing anymore. Alright, this doesn't really feel good, but... You know, we'll take it. A win's a win? I guess? Okay, when I was wondering how I managed to get any ranking points when I'm so dumb that I forget throwing exists, matches like this is why, just completely unearned victories. Okay, one more match and I think I'm calling it a day here. Okay, who is our last match against today? Oh, looks like this match is, uh, rigged. Eh? Eh? God, I'm I'm sitting alone in my room right now, but I can just hear the booing. <laughs> God, I hate it when my opponent just spams the same move over and over again. I say after I spam the same move over and over again. <laughs> but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter that you spam, it matters how you spam. Like, as they say in like martial arts, don't fear the man who knows a thousand kicks, fear the man who's practiced a single kick a thousand times. I'm just taking that and applying it to fighting games. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Also, random super. Like, I may not be comboing into it, but at the end of the day, they're still getting hit by it. So, why not? You know, there's always something fun about taking a canonically intelligent, cunning, and manipulative character and just playing them in the most brain-dead way possible. One of the joys of life. And that's a peek at my first time playing Nico. She is a lot of fun. I like her moveset a lot. Um, yeah, uh, let me know if you like the video. I, I just kind of made this because I felt like making something, but, you know, <laughs> I don't really know if it's going to be a consistent thing, but if you want to see more, just, you know, let me know. I'll try to find something fun to do. All right, uh, later. I post comics on Twitter and on whatever, wherever. I don't know. Bye.